progress. Um, How you doing? Good, man. Hey, you, you didn't get this opportunity last year, obviously, because there was no summer league and you were kind of thrown, you know, right into the fire when the season starts. How, what are you trying to take the most out of, uh, out of this summer league heading into next season? Uh, just learning coach um, game plan, how you run an offense, just a defensive side of the ball, all the terminology as a point guard, getting my players in the right direction. You know, just having fun, um, opportunity to get better every day um, and play the game you love. Kyra, I was wondering about really two guys. Um, wh what have you seen and what, have you, what are your thoughts on Herb as far as just the contributions that he's made? He seems to be doing a lot of the same stuff that he did in college. Um, you know, he does it all. He defends, uh, defends multiple positions. He's always in the right spot, like I said earlier, uh, when we, before we started playing. Um, you know, he wants to learn the game. He's a great cutter on offense. He does all the little things that show up, might not show up in a box score, but it always affects winning. So, you know, he's playing great. Um, he's just going to keep building. I know you're going to keep getting better. And I can't wait to see the future. And Najee just talked about how you guys have spent a lot of time working together in the in, just in the gym and that kind of thing. Um, what What's impressed you about just the way that Najee's played? It seems like he's been so consistent every game, making a huge impact. Uh, just his patience on offense, um, getting to his spots, whether it's the floater or the pull-up, um, you know, making reads on offense, uh, just staying locked in on defense. Uh, he's doing everything well. Um, just, just all of us having fun. He's definitely having fun. Um, like you said earlier, when we was working out, um, I knew that coming into him, he's going to have a big uh, outing. Hey, Kyra, I hope you're doing well. How beneficial for you to have your head coach in Vegas and what advice he, he gave to you so far in this process? Uh, it's big because uh, you kind of uh, get a feel for him and he gets a feel for us going into training camp in the regular season. Um, he's a great guy. He uh, tells us just have fun, play the game freely, don't think too much, uh, play hard, be the hardest playing team, and, uh, live with results. And, you know, basketball, you're going to make mistakes, but just keep playing and uh, just keep getting better. Hey, Kyra, it's Andrew from ESPN. One more from me. Um, when you did come in last season, you didn't really uh, – so obviously we talked about not having summer league, but you did have a familiar face in, in Spoon and somebody you had a just a relationship with because of what happened with your cousin uh, being recruited to Tech. Uh, what, what has she kind of meant – I know we talked a little bit about it during the year, but what has she meant to to you in your development over, over this last year and a half? She's meant a lot. Uh, she's always there with me through the ups and downs. Uh, we always work hard. Uh, this summer, we really worked hard, uh, just changing pace, um, working on our finishes, passes. So uh, she's been a big part of my development, and uh, I just know we're going to keep on working and keep getting better. Kyra, one more for me. What were the takeaways of uh, last season for you? And uh, what did you see as your biggest growth so far in Vegas? Um, just change the pace, um, getting to my spots, um, reading the defense, uh, defensive side, knowing tendencies, uh, how to make it easy on you and not hard on you. Um, maybe I need to get under the screen, take them to the point of screen and get under, um, uh, get over ball screen. So there's a lot of things that, um, that I wanted to work on coming out to Vegas and I feel like I'm getting better at. All right. Thanks, Kyrie. Appreciate your time. All right, thank you.